In this practical, we'll extend the overlap function that we wrote in the last practical uh, and use it to create a naive overlap map for a set of reads. So I've already pasted in here the function that we wrote uh, that calculates the overlap between two strings A and B. Another uh, function we're going to use here is permutations, which is uh, in Python. So I'm going to start by saying from iter tools import permutations. And now, uh, just to give you an example of what this does, I'm going to print out um, permutations. I'm going to give it a list. I'll just give it uh, one, two, and three. And I'm going to give it a set of permutation, or the length of the permutations that I want. So I'll start by just saying one. And so this prints out all the permutations of this set of size one. Uh, so in this case, they can be one, two, or three. I can get all the permutations of size two, and this will give me all of the pairs, um, which are ordered. Um, and similarly, I can do all of the permutations of size three, and this gives me all of the size three permutations of that list. Uh, so now let's uh, write our function, naive overlap map. Um, it'll take a set of reads um, and a uh, minimum overlap length k. I'm just gonna store my overlap map as a uh, dictionary. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say for each pair of reads A, B in permutations of reads two. So I'll get all the pairs of reads uh, in that set. And I'm gonna calculate the overlap length using the function above. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to say if that length is greater than zero, then add the tuple AB to the dictionary as a key and give it a value of, of overlap length. And I'll just return overlaps. So now let's do this for a simple set of reads. Give it a minimum length of three. And let me try to get something that will work. Um, there you go. So there, there's an example of, so in this case, the first two reads overlap. Um, First read overlaps the second one, and the third read overlaps the first one. 